Hey, hey, it's Mark with Lifecycle Insights. This quick video, we're going to be talking about Cisco SmartNet. Cisco SmartNet API integration will allow you for the following. One, we will pull warranty expiration dates for your Cisco assets. Two, we can pull device end of life dates for your Cisco assets. If selecting this option, you may choose one of several EOX dates provided by Cisco to determine Lifecycle Insights end of life date. Or three, we can pull Cisco model information. Our approach will be to leverage Cisco supports APIs. In order to call the Cisco support APIs, you will need to generate a client ID key and client secret, then enter those credentials into LCI. Please look for the, um, the documentation in our help button. Important information when setting up your application. One, a name is required. Two, under OAuth 2.0 credentials, make sure only client credentials is checked. And three, you need to select each of the following APIs. EOX v5 API, Product Info API 1.0, and Serial Number to Infor Information API version 2. If you do not see the three APIs, the SNTC user you are creating the application for does not have the appropriate level of access. Now let's go find out where to find the Cisco SmartNet integration. From the dashboard, under administration, click integrations. Scroll down and click on Cisco SmartNet. You will be prompted with a form that will allow you to enter your Cisco SNTC credentials and also specify optional options for the integration. You may turn off the Cisco SNTC integration for all of your uh, assets by unchecking the Cisco integration active checkbox at the top of the page. Note, turning off the integration does not mean we will revert any data that has previously been looked up. If you want to revert any data, please contact support at support at lifecycleinsights.io. Once again, make sure you like and subscribe. Have a wonderful day and happy lifecycling.